Good afternoon, my fellow patriotic Americans. <laughs> my name is Gabriel, and if you're like me, you mistrust the news. And that's good. <laughs> you see, recently there's been a lot of hubbub in the media about an organization known as the NSA. Whoa, 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 I hold the phone. See, what is this? What is this NSA? <laughs> I'm so glad you asked, Tom. I really am. You see, Tom is one of our new recruits. You see, the NSA stands for the National Security Agency. <laughs> Security. <laughs> think about that word. It's a comforting word, is it not? <laughs> We're like a big, warm security blanket. <sighs> Just wrapping around the throat of America. <laughs> and squeezing. <laughs> and squeezing. until all of the terrorism just falls right out. All right, all right, all right. I like the sound of that, yes. <laughs> Ooh, I do too, Tom, I do too. But you see, recently there's been a lot of scuttlebutts in the media about the NSA. Yeah, there's some people in the media who are saying that we here at the NSA, we've been uh, listening in on people's phone calls, reading everyone's emails, putting recording devices inside of people's computers, hiding in your refrigerators, and putting cameras inside of people's showers. But, 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 but if, if, if we didn't do that, how would we know if there were terrorists in your bathroom? And that fear would just be terrible. So in order to repair our image in the public eye, we are willing to offer all of you a free service. And the best part is, you wouldn't even know you asked for it. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. On Christmas Eve, the NSA released a statement admitting that they might have been responsible for spying on Americans for the past decade. <laughs> Experts also suggest that water might be wet. <laughs> but have you ever wondered what we could do with the power of the NSA in our hands? Find out in the NSA's Guide to Winning Friends and Influencing People by Edward Snowden. <laughs> what, yeah, okay, yeah, it's written by Don Zelitis, all right, you happy? <sighs> now, we have learned a lot from watching you over the past decade. In fact, we'd be willing to say that we're experts in human behavior, as a matter of fact. We know that y'all are doing things really, really wrong. So in order to help you, we are now introducing the NSA's guide on how to win friends and influence people. <laughs> the NSA way. So, scenario number one. <laughs> Let us pretend that you go to an all-American school and, and you are new in town. So the problem is, are you gonna make any friends? So let us observe this the wrong way first, okay? Let's take a look, shall we? Sunny day here at the NSA. What, <laughs> dude? I was talking to Charlie the other day, and man, if you talk about Charlie one more time, I am going to excuse me. I'm I am new here, I'm, uh, which of your females uh, is available? Dude, what are you talking about? Well, I'm, I am here to become the new alpha male. <laughs> um, I am ready to engage in a physical combat. <laughs> Oh, woo -hoo, wow, 
Wow! All right, can I ask, what is it you're trying to do here? Well, I'm, I, I watch a lot of nature programs. <laughs> um, this is how the, uh, the animals do it? Well, luckily for you, here at the NSA, we know how the humans do it, okay? So, let us take a look again, the NSA way. What, oh, dude, I was talking to you. Uh, man, this is like a private conversation. Yeah, I know. All right, um, well, I was talking to Charlie the other day and I was telling him he's totally gonna get the job. Charlie Tremaine, six foot three, mother calls him Pookie, sleeps with three stuffed animals at night. No, no, no. <laughs> no, he's not getting the job. You see, he wants to go to clown college, but he'd never tell you that because he keeps it buried really far down inside. Whoa, dude, how do you know that? Shh. It's not important how I know that. <laughs> but you are safer now that I know. Whoa, dude. <laughs> Wait, man, do, do you wanna be friends? Like, what's your name? My name is of absolutely no importance to you. You can call me a friend. <laughs> By the way, I think it's really sweet how the two of you like to share one girlfriend between the two of you. Wait, what? Now, I don't know if you were keeping track, but I counted exactly zero terrorist attacks during that entire segment. <laughs> It's very effective, is it not? Ah! So, scenario number two. Did you know that the NSA can not only help individuals, but also groups as a collective? Ah! So let's take a look at one of my favorite groups, the Girl Scouts of America. Hmm. Let's take a look, shall we? Will you tell me how to get, how to get to Guantanamo Bay? All right. A uh, Girl Scout meeting uh, will not come to order. Uh, roll call. Uh, Bailey, are you here? Yeah, I'm here. All right. Uh, Haley, are you here? <laughs> I'm sorry, you may not use the bathroom at this time. Uh, uh, Austin, are you here? Yeah, yeah, I'm right here. All right, we'll not be handing out uh, merit badges. Uh, Bailey, please step forward. Oh my God, I deserve this. Bailey, please shut up. I'm sorry I do it for the attention. Bailey. Uh, for selling exactly 44 boxes of Girl Scout cookies, uh, you are hereby awarded a merit badge. Uh, Haley, for selling exactly 47 boxes of Girl Scout cookies, uh, you are also awarded a merit badge. Austin, for selling exactly 144 boxes of Girl Scout cookies, uh, you are hereby not awarded a merit badge. Wait, what happened? But why not? Because you've been accused of a crime. Wait, what? Wait, wait, what, what crime? I can't tell you that. It is a secret crime. Wait, what the? <laughs> Do you have any evidence? The evidence is also secret. Wait, what the? What, what, what am I supposed to do then? Uh, well, you will be held in prison uh, until such a time that you are willing to confess to your crime. Wait, but I, I don't even know what the crime is. That's not our problem. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? You can't do this to me. Uh, yes, we can. <laughs> Haley, please show her up. Wait, wait, hang on, hang on. Hang on. I know, I, I know what the crime is. Um, um I, I, I accidentally took uh, my cell phone on the camping trip. Um, I, I accidentally set the woods on fire. Um, I, I, I kicked a squirrel. Um, I sacrificed chickens for fun. Um, 
Um, I once killed four people in Texas dressed up as a clown and led the police across a three-state chase. <gasps> are any of those the crime? Sadly, none of those are the crime. <laughs> But we will gladly add all of those crimes onto your pre-existing crimes. <laughs> Haley, please take her away. <laughs> you can't do this! So like, what did she do in the first place? We don't actually know that. <laughs> they never tell us these things. Oh, isn't the work of the NSA just wonderful? What say you, Tom? You know, actually, actually, this is pretty awful. <laughs> what are you talking about? Yeah, don't you think we're going a little bit overboard here? I mean, I don't want the NSA inside of my computer. <laughs> we're already there. No, no, no. No, 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 I'm moving out in the mountains. Yeah, with my friends, we're gonna live in a log cabin. Yeah. <laughs> We're gonna make our own food, we're gonna make our own clothing, we're gonna, we're gonna live without any electricity. Yeah, yeah, yeah. you have fun trying to watch me now. Looks like some people just can't handle the pressure. He's going to be really bummed out when he finds out about our satellites. All right, all right, all right. <laughs>